G'day Marshmallows and welcome back to the Coco Couch. We are watching The Iron Giant. We are back with another animated movie. This one apparently flopped when it came out. Kind of explains why it went under the radar for me. I haven't heard of this movie before, but it's a cult classic. So a lot of people like this movie now and look back on it with nostalgia. So I'm excited to kind of jump on this train and understand what's so precious about this movie. This did say it was the director's cut or something like that. So apparently it has like five or 10 minutes of extra footage in it, which I don't mind, it's still 90 minutes. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Oh. Whoa. Earth 1957. And that's a Soviet satellite, right? Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, this is starting off so exciting. <laughs> this is like the start of Pacific Rim. I see it. <gasps> oh, actually, though. <laughs> Yikes, man. Yeah, you don't want to be outside in this weather. That was extremely fortunate. Mate. The animation style is uh, sort of reminiscent of Atlantis and Treasure Planet. It just has a little bit of a different sort of flair to it. Well, guess what I found? Oh, Garth, we've been through this before. No, pets. The friend. Oh, Garth, we oh, boy. Yeah, no, you don't want to have that thing around. Do you remember the raccoon, Hogarth? Ugh, I remember the raccoon. <laughs> Where is this guy? And he's gone, yep. <laughs> Every time. Russian satellite seen in the night sky. There you go. Excuse me, so <laughs> Pets under your table. Don't Looks like the guy from Jurassic Park. Maybe it was a Sputnik or a that, that's, that's what it is. It's an invader from Mars. Oh, <laughs> makes him sound crazy. Well, knowing you, Earl, I'd say it was either whiskey or beer. Mm, poor guy. I saw it too. <laughs> Good on you, man. Where is Sputnik from Mars? We don't stick up for the kooks who will. My son bothering you, <laughs> sir? <laughs> no! Call me Dean! Oh. Dean. Dean. <laughs> Found your pet. Where? Squirrels in my pants, Hogarth. <laughs> I'm trying not to wake out here. This poor guy. I'd like to apologize to everyone in advance for this. Oh, wow. <laughs> you don't see that every day. <laughs> <laughs> Probably should have gone outside first. No scary movies in bed by eight o'clock. Got it? Come on, Mom. Why, the porpoise can communicate. <laughs> of course, he stays up. Talent. It's crazy how much of American culture the rest of the world knows because of movies. Darn. A perfectly good brain wasted. Darn. I seem to have left my keys in the lab. I love the acting. Hmm, I've seemed to have left my keys. <laughs> hmm. so get it. I guess that's why he's watching the movie. It's fun seeing this guy get killed or something, right? Cause it's a horror. Who's there? No. No! No! <laughs> yeah, dude, you gotta miss the best part! Oh, come on. Stupid antenna. It'd be so interesting to experience childhood through the different, like, decades. Just to see what it's like, the culture. This is what I'm talking about, man. The imagination. It's so cool. You go, little man. I feel like I grew up and I just missed social media and stuff like that. Yeah, that didn't just yeet itself up there, man. Oh, it's like a horror movie, man. Oh, wow, the outline. Of the head and the shoulders? That's so cool, man. <laughs> Be brave, soldier. <laughs> oh my gosh, I didn't know. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> Yikes. Dude, 
dude, this thing's massive. Oh, okay, so he's just hungry. Uh, yep. He doesn't need to recharge his batteries for a while. Far out. She just got home. Dang, she's working hard. Hogarth? Honey? Oh man, she's gonna freak out. Hogarth? That must be awful for a parent. Oh, I actually kind of feel sorry for this guy. I don't know anything about him, but... That is the most Warner Brothers switch I've ever seen. <laughs> the on and off. <laughs> Dead or just night-night? Look at my guy's calves, though, <laughs> compared to his hammies. This kid's so brave. It's just so inquisitive. Like the way he was talking to strangers before. Oh, dude! <laughs> Don't fall into the mouth. Yeah, dude, I'd be booking it. Stop! Help! Hogarth! Mom! Oh, don't you ever do that to me again, Hogarth. Mom, you won't believe this. <laughs> oh. I'm serious! Oh, but it's not Sputnik like Mr. Stuck. His priorities, mate. A hundred feet high! Hogarth! And, and it eats metal! Stop it! I'm not in the mood. Oh. I wonder what the situation is with his father. Hey, there he is! Oh, the head tilt! Without warning. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. But how does one... Yeah, this was massive, wasn't it? Are you crazy, Mr. Stutz? His bow run into a sea monster. Uh, just old... any of those things. What would you know about it? Oh, God! Shh! I hate that! When you always get blamed... I need a table like that. Why is a nice girl like you serving coffee to a guy like me? And I have the right to refuse service to anyone. Whoa. Hogarth just, I think he's lonely. He's a good kid. Oh, he seems like a genuinely nice guy, just for no reason. He's just a good dude. <laughs> Kent Mansley, United States government. <laughs> of course he has a pipe. Bitten off by some enormous Beast. What do you think, escaped gorilla? Every once in a while, things happen that just can't be rationalized. People want to know that their government has a response. I am that response. <laughs> I love the cliche introduction, but it's still cool, man. It's just a very charming movie. The biggest thing in this town is probably the homecoming queen. Oh my god! <gasps> Whoa! With no noise? Come on, Mark. Come on. Okay, I'm coming. Come 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 like a bite out of a ham sandwich. Like a. Uh, uh. <laughs> Yeah, he's invested now. Hello? Is the, um, is the quality of the voice, like audio, a choice? Because it does sound like it's older than it is, which I really like. I think it works really well for the older setting, you know. <laughs> yeah, dude, stakeouts suck. Dude, dude! <gasps> oh, oh my. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, dude was running so long before he started walking. Oh, that's terrifying. <laughs> Dang it, bro. You're not dead. Oh, shit. Dude, that got me. Um, this is really cute. It feels like How to Train Your Dragon. <gasps> he's aware. Aww. You saw me save you. Yeah, I bet he's the only person that's actually proven trustworthy. You came from the sky, right? Don't you remember anything? Do you talk? Blah, 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 like that? <laughs> Oh, there you go. This is called a rock. Good. <laughs> well done. <laughs> no, is a tree. Rock. 
I love this. It's so charming. That's right. Nice. My own giant robot. <laughs> The luckiest kid in America. Yeah, for real. It's unbelievable. This is the greatest discovery since television or something. Television. <laughs> People always wig out and start shooting when they see something big like you. Yeah, he's got a good point. <laughs> SACCOM radar detected an unidentified object. Some assumed it was a large meteor. This is no meteor, gentlemen. This is something much more serious. Hmm. Just stay here, okay? Wow. Yeah. Yep. No. <laughs> so cute. Stay. <laughs> no following. I told you! Now stay! <laughs> now he knows how his mom feels. It's amazing that you can have something that looks so intimidating initially, but the second you see how it behaves, it's actually adorable. <laughs> the size actually makes it seem cuter. Hey! No, 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 no! Look at this mess! Yeah, dude. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. That's not enough, dude. You're gonna have to properly fix that thing. There's one here, that one there. Okay, over, over, good, good. Now the other. Oh, the fact that you can understand this is actually a miracle. What's the Fine, dude. Train is no, he's right. Yeah, it needs to be perfect. Nice. Now get out of there. Oh. Whoa. Shivers, man. <laughs> yeah, he's jaws a little bit. Oh, hell yeah. He can just repair himself. Let's go. That's so handy. A train accident? Unusual. What creature mm. could be big enough to... I need your car. Yeah, this guy's quick. Whoa. How big is their barn, man? I thought this thing was bigger than that. Every last piece. Nice. <laughs> Dang, it's such a shame he was so close to fixing it. Well, he did fix it, but then made things worse. <laughs> Does anyone know where I can get to a telephone nearby? Ooh. Would you say grace, please? That's very inconvenient. <gasps> oh, dude! Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> Put in front of us and stop! <laughs> the, uh, the devil! Satan. Nice. Go, you soul! That was, hmm, really unusual. I'm never asking you to pray again. <laughs> Tomorrow, lad. What is happening, man? What is this implying? That each of his body parts are sentient? Or have, like, cameras or something? Over here. I'd expect the movement to look like a spider, but they've animated it to look like it's a dog. Oh, this poor mum. <laughs> oh! Kent Mansley, I work for the government. <laughs> Your parents home? We're eating. Mm, boy. This just got so chaotic. Oh, hello there. <clears throat> Ew, bird. I could use? Pretend you're a gangster. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't like this guy. Well, I didn't actually see it. Tell me again, Mansley. Listen to yourself. <sighs> a giant metal mug. Yeah, dude, you're gonna need a lot of evidence before anyone's gonna listen. Hell, you get me a photograph of this thing and I could probably get some troops over there. You tell me you've got a feeling. That's honestly fair. What's <laughs> that? <laughs> Thank you, Annie. Over. That's Hogarth. An embarrassing name. Might as well call him Zeppo. Or wow. Hogarth. Yep, the rifle. Hog, hog! Hogarth news! <laughs> hog, hog! <laughs> I have something for you, Hogarth. See anything unusual? Yep. Hogarth? Unusual? Dude, he knows! Gotta use the bathroom. Yeah, that's mega sus. <laughs> 
The other night he couldn't stop talking. I mean, hundred foot robots and. Oh no! What else did he say? No, wait, stop! Yikes! Excuse He's gonna me. pursue this kid now. Hogarth, what is going on? In here? <laughs> The piano music as well, that was perfect. This sort of thing is why it's so important to chew your food. Wow. Not helping. Oh, guard? Oh, a little privacy! Oh, oh. Sorry. <laughs> that was desperate. And also such a human moment. <laughs> That's happened before. Good night, Hogarth. I'm sure we'll see each other again real soon. Yeah. Room for rent as well. She's trying to rent out a room. Oh my gosh. Poor woman's having to do everything. Mad Magazine. <laughs> this guy is Superman. Only uses his powers for good. Yes. Mm. He's not the hero. He's the villain. You're a good guy. Yay. Like Superman. I'm so glad that this creature is getting a good moral lesson from this kid straight away on this planet. I don't have any metal here. Just follow me. Pick me up, okay? Oh. Wow. Yeah, damn. March. <laughs> this kid's living the dream. Woo. Nice place, huh? He's getting better at his pronunciation. <laughs> Dude, chill! Don't kill the cows! Not the boo-boos! People just aren't ready for you. I'm glad this kid is so aware of how humans will actually react to him. Just wants community. That was close. I guess that would be okay to eat. We gotta hide! You know, just get behind something quick! <laughs> the panic. Don't move. Oh, dang it. They're picking up the car. This guy. Nice disguise, too. Follow that truck. <laughs> Seems like hunger for food is universal, literally. This is it. All you can eat. <laughs> Just eat it, swallow it whole. Shivers. All right, who's out there? <laughs> hey, I know you. Squirrel boy. Squirrel boy. You'd be surprised how many people want to steal scrap. Once I turn it into art, I, I, I can't give it away. Ah, uh, he's an artist. You're not going to call my mom, are you? Don't worry, kid. Look, it's not my style to report a guy to the authorities. <laughs> Hello. I'm gonna Coffee's fine. Um. Yeah, I drank it. Okay. It's the middle of the night. So she moved me up again because I wasn't fitting in. So now I'm even more not fitting. My mom said, you need stimulation. And I go, no, I'm stimulated enough right now. <laughs> Because I'm a shrimpy dork who thinks he's smarter than them. I don't think I'm smarter. I just do the stupid homework. Is there any more coffee? Wow. That was a really intense speech. And very relatable. You are who you choose to be. Mmm. Words of wisdom, man. I reckon this guy will be chill about it. He seems really nice. Oh. The truth comes out. Run, kid, run! Whoa! Oh, shivers, man. It's okay. <laughs> He's just being protective. His name is Dean. We like Dean. Dean. <gasps> Dean. <laughs> oh, where did uh, where did he come from? He's like a little kid. He needs food and shelter. <laughs> that was such a good response. <laughs> I'm done. You got this place is perfect. Go away. I had him push the door down. I love this movie. I, I, I can't hide it here. He's my friend. Ooh. God, I'm tired. Oh, he can stay? This poor guy he has no idea what he's gotten himself into. I'll see you tomorrow. But I like that he's a bit of an oddball. It kind of explains his empathy a bit. You know, why he's so nice to people. He probably just treats people the way he'd like to be treated. You're up already? Just making the bed. Come downstairs. I have a surprise for you. Dang it, man. Morning, sport. Sleep well? No. We finally rented our room. Ugh. I'm not very hungry. 
He's staying here. I feel for her safety, man. He was a weirdo. I think they could stay the night. It's morning now. Watching me. What's that supposed to mean? Now, who was that, sport? Friend of yours? Hey, 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 stop. Stop that. <laughs> hey, mind if I ask you a few questions? Oh, I'd hate that, having some stranger around the house. You tell anyone else about this, buddy? Hey, how big is this thing, right? Sam, Slugger. Hey, cowboy. Where are you going? Where are you going? I'm going out. Why don't you take Mr. Mansley with you? No. There are two kinds of metal in this yard, graph and art. Currently have in your mouth <laughs> is art. <laughs> He's going to try to fix it. Gone. It, it, it. <laughs> well, that's not bad. <laughs> yeah. Crumble up the chocolate into little pieces. What do you call this again? Landslide. Very nice. The fact he's invested? Landslide. Coco lax. Laxative? We don't know what it is or what it can do. I don't feel safe, Hogarth. Mm. Do you? What are you talking about? What am I mm. talking about? Because everyone wants. Oh my gosh! Can someone help this kid? You think this metal man is fun, but who built this? This is not his dad. We didn't build it, and that's reason enough to assume the worst. You are going to tell me about this thing. You are going to lead me to it. Just hold that thought and stay right. <laughs> yes, perfect timing. Yeah, run, kid. That's crazy. No one did anything. You have him doing. <laughs> He's looking after him. What would you have him do? Hmm. One, two, and three. Five, four, three. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, man, I don't think you can handle that. Yeah, dude, the amount of G's. Oh my gosh. Hey, baby, we are cool. <laughs> It'd be nice if this was, you know, your typical fairy tale and, you know, he starts dating his mom and things work out, you know? But I'm know it. You know bring <laughs> the laxatives. <laughs> yes. Yeah, my guy's going through it. Yeah, did he get any photos? Hey, Dean, watch this. All right, we're watching. <laughs> this one's for professionals only. <laughs> I love that we're just getting to see this kid be a kid. The, the blood is great. No thanks. Come on in. It's really, really refreshing. Oh my gosh, I know exactly what's going to happen. I know exactly what's going to happen. <laughs> you too, big baby. Just wait. <laughs> <laughs> got an umbrella oh <laughs> raccoon wow is it the raccoon that could have killed somebody <laughs> i'm glad he had some fun this guy did not you're right in the middle of the road yeah. all right <laughs> yeah, all right <laughs> Thanks. Much better. Yep. I love how they keep making jokes to the laxatives. It's a deer. Yeah. Get closer. How quiet can this thing be, though? I mean, even just a twig would set it off. Oh my gosh, this thing's curious. Well, I guess he decided to... <gasps> Right. It's the monster. Yep. Dang it, man. Oh, no. He's gonna get an education in death. Don't do that! Why? It's dead. You shot it with that gun. Hmm. Whoa, whoa! whoa. Oh boy, that was not good. Does he have like a really dark side or something? We well, can't remember anything, so maybe he had like a bad past. Maybe he was created to be a weapon or something. I know you feel bad about the deer. Things die. It's part of life. It's bad to kill, but it's not bad to die. Wow. You're made of metal, but you have feelings. These are really heavy topics for kids. I, I really like that. It's in this movie. Souls don't die. Inside of all good things. Aww. 
This is so precious, man. Souls don't die. <laughs> That's such an interesting uh, line, though. Killing is bad, but dying isn't, you know? Oh, is he having nightmares? <laughs> oh, shivers, man. You came from the sky. Oh! You don't even know where he Oh, so that was his past. Well, there you go. So he was created to be a weapon, but he lost those memories. I could also take a gander that that was probably an extra scene. Your mom's working late tonight, Hogarth. Whoa. We're going to have a little chat. Sit down. This guy's a creep. I can do anything I want, whenever I want, if I feel it's in the people's best interest. Or is it? I don't know what you're talking about. How about this? Yeah, dude. Where's the giant? You can't protect him, Hogarth. Any more than you can protect your mother. Oh, I really hate this guy. I wouldn't worry about this, Hogarth. It isn't really happening. This is only a bad dream. Oh, okay. Okay. I was gonna say, man, like, he was sketchy before, but that's just... Bro. The army arrives in the morning, Hogarth. I got a team. Yeah, man. <gasps> oh, you would. I'll be watching you. It's crazy that because of his behavior, the dream wasn't completely unrealistic. That's how sketchy of a person he is. Oh, man. <laughs> Who's gonna win? Hmm. Oh, four hour window. Come on. Morning, Kent. Ah, yes. That was brilliant. Turning around so he could fake it. Yes, dude. He probably gave him enough time to get somewhere else. <laughs> All right, where is it? What? You know darn well what? <laughs> He's in the back. Come on, I'll, I'll show you. Is he gonna try to come across as a fruitcake? This rich cat, you know, some industrialist, whipped out his checkbook and said, hey, you got him for the rest of your life. I gotta let go the moment I give birth. The general guys look so bad. <laughs> oh, wait, what? Anyway. I, I didn't know he'd actually be here. Right, listen, sir, listen, step outside, Mansley. There's no way it worked. Just blew me. I'm relieved that this is what Hogarth was talking about. Do you need all this stuff on the surface? Ooh. No, actually. It seems kind of slapped on. You like that one? Yeah. Oh, I love that she actually admires his real work. I'll expect you back in Washington to clear out your office. Dang. <laughs> I see why Hogarth sneaks out here. You mean? Oh. Oh. I feel good for her too, you know, to meet the guy that's actually looking after a kid most of the time. And he's nice. Nice job. Otomo! No, Otomo. Oh. I Superman. <laughs> Take this! Whoa! Stop the gun. Oh! <gasps> no! He wasn't even in control. As I was saying. Dude, the crater! <laughs> no! <laughs> Shivers. Get back! I said get back! Uh. He's our friend! He's a piece of hardware, Hogarth. He's a weapon. A big gun! That no! Oh. I got a gun. Yeah? You almost did that to Hogarth! No. Mm. Hogarth! Hey, stop! Giant! Calm down! Mm, yeah, that's complicated. And he's just trying to protect the kid, hey? It was defensive. He reacted to the gun. You're not gonna get there fast enough on foot. Good on him, man. What a quick change. Just like that. Realize what happened. He's like, alright, let's get our friend back. That is a terrible way to react, though. Like, 
at, to guns because it just means anyone that's thrown by him is gonna actually it, like make it worse. <laughs> Come on, mate! Yes! Nice! Super bad! <laughs> Daddy! What a good introduction, though. It's his debut. <laughs> oh, shivers, man. Yeah, he's not crazy. But now you've got a whole bunch of guns probably coming towards you, which will just make this worse. Not a gun. Yeah, is it Vin Diesel that's doing the voice? Sounds like um the way he does Groot. Oh. America. <laughs> Gosh. It's good that he's not reacting, though. He only reacts defensively. He's harmless. You gotta tell the general. Giant's got the kid with him. Yeah. I'll take care of it. Be logical. You've got your evidence. Now please be a smart person. He says the monster's killed a kid. We must stop it at all costs. Oh my gosh, you absolute idiot. He just explained to you that it's harmless. <laughs> oh boy, this really just escalated. <laughs> Hell yeah! He's actually Superman! <laughs> you can fly? Oh, yeah, I'd be scared for my kid too. <laughs> yes! It's so charming, I love it. <laughs> yeah, that's right, you're actually in real danger, man. No, no! Good on you, man. Hopefully the kid doesn't get whiplash. <laughs> My goodness. Good call, Mansley. Find out what this thing is and who said it. They'd better find the kid in its hands so that this guy gets like fired or something. Huh? Oh. Dang it, man. Oh, he's gonna think he's dead. Oh. Oh, the poor thing. And the deer was like foreshadowing this. <laughs> Oh no 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 Whoa Let's get Dang Yeah now it really looks like alien technology. That's like War of the World stuff right there. Hogarth! Unconscious, but he's okay. Let's get him in the car. Yeah, of course he was unconscious. Florence, faster, faster, faster! Just remember, mate, you did this. <laughs> <laughs> you hit that guy. It's pretty funny how they're animating all the people escaping all the vehicles before they get blown up. There's like no on screen deaths, except for the deer. Nautilus has first strike capability and it's not far offshore. You scare me, Mansley. The giant seems to follow whatever attacks it. He can lure it away from the town. Tell him to target the robot and await my command. This guy's just trigger happy. It's so crazy that in the matter of like 10 minutes, he just went from like, finally, we can destroy this thing. Let's nuke it. <laughs> Stop the car. Oh, Garth, my God, honey, you're all Go right. Back. You're lucky to be alive. We're taking you to a hospital. Out of the car. We have to evacuate the what area. What are you talking about? Hogarth! Oh, man. No! Oh, unfortunately, I think this is the only way to stop this thing. Ready the attack and prepare to retreat to the fallback position. No! Dang. My son is out there! No, wait! Whee! It's bad to kill, and you don't have to be a gun. You are what you choose to be. You're Superman. Please! Choose. Oh, God. Oh, thank goodness, man. <laughs> It's 
It's so sad to see how scared he was of himself. Attacking him is triggering a defense mechanism. Don't listen, General. Let's get it closer. Don't shoot. Hogarth. Hold your fire. It's a trick. Launch the missile. Are Dude. you mad? Thank goodness this guy has a head on his shoulders. This guy's just a fruitcake. Launch the missile now. Wait. They listened to that? He's nobody. That missile is targeted to the giant's current position. Where's the giant, Mansley? Yeah. Absolute moron. We can duck and cover. Oh. There's a fallout shelter right there. He's like, oopsie. We're all going to, to die, Mansley, or our country. Yeah, you absolute buffoon. I want to live. After all that. No. Yeah, no, you're staying here. You caused this. Make sure he stays here like a good soldier. All these poor innocent people. Oh no. Can you imagine just having to accept that now? Like, we can't go anywhere. It's over. When it comes down, everyone will die. This just got so morbid, man. Can he stop it? Pretty advanced, technologically. This. You. Stay. I. Go. No. Following. Aww. Man. Oh, I was afraid we are going to get a sacrifice. I love you. Oh. You are who you choose to be. Oh. Superman. <sighs> Mate. Yeah, what a... Flippin' hero, man. Yeah, that was a good robot. Let's go home. <laughs> the way he said that. Oh, just another day's work. It's like a star. Oh, they made us. Is it a monument for him? That is adorable. I love that they did that. Your best work yet, honey. Of course he did it. And they're together. Next to that bug, uh, thing. With the, uh, <laughs> with the shovels. <laughs> See you later, guys. See you later, Hogarth. The general sent this to you. What is it? The only part recovered. He thought you should have it. Oh, that was awesome of the general to do that. I love the outcome for the characters too. Like Hogarth seems to be happier now with the students he's in the same class with. I knew it! I knew this was gonna happen! Come on! <laughs> it needs to return to its master. <laughs> Is this piece sentient as well? That bolt, like a long journey ahead of it. Iceland? Damn! <laughs> yes! So it's indestructible. It just, it can just break into pieces. Okay. Yeah, someone needs to study what the metal was. Yeah. Yes. Has the best smile as well. <laughs> that was awesome. That was honestly just such a beautiful, heartfelt, and charming film. Everything that I want in an animated movie was in this. It was so good, man. Like, I just loved the whole... I like. I'm a huge fan of those sorts of movies where you have, like, the most unexpected character befriend some sort of like dangerous creature animal thing being like this like I, like one of my favorite movies i think my favorite animated movie of all time would have to be something like how to train a dragon so to see a movie that has a similar sort of narrative uh but you know spices it up a bit i just i loved this i loved the companionship um hogarth teaching the iron giant how the world works, you know, death and, you know, how to be a hero. I just, I loved it. It was so adorable. And I loved following the character as well, Dean. I thought he was great. And I just, I liked having such a, um, I just loved the dichotomy between Dean, who was like such a good sort of example in Hogarth's life. He was such a good friend. He was so open and understanding. He met the Iron Giant and kind of saw him as like a misfit, kind of like himself. And then you had the other guy, the detective, right? Who was the complete opposite. Like he just did little subtle things to show that he wasn't really a good guy. Um, 
but he was also the antagonist in the sense that it wasn't just that he was a bad guy he he was also the detective right he was after the iron giant so i really liked the two characters there um the two examples in hogarth's life the one not to follow and the one to look up to i liked that and i loved that um the example his mum set like i just like it like i always feel um a lot of empathy for those sort of characters and to see like i'm guessing she was like a single mum, right uh you know working so long so many long shifts and you know this the fact that she was renting out rooms as well like she was doing everything she could to look after hogarth and like it was just such an admirable character and i just love that by the end of the movie it's like everyone sort of got what they wanted like she got someone who um was already looking after hogarth right uh she, she someone who could take care of her a bit more and uh make things easier and uh dean got companionship someone who understood him uh both hogarth and his mum. I, I loved that it was great and um yeah i also really liked the general i mean he just seemed like a very logical sort of character i think the only decision he may have made that i, I was annoyed about was the fact that he fired first that's it i think that was probably the only thing that was wrong and then everything escalated after that but as for all the information about you know hogarth being with him and the way he reacts to things he seemed to be very like responsive like he was listening uh so i you know i really liked his character and the fact that he gave a hogarth the bolt in the end of the movie it was a just a cherry on top yeah great great film uh so charming the animation um i love the 2d mixed with 3d just fantastic and then you also had the music throughout the whole movie which was really cool i really liked the soundtrack um and the theme was great uh but yeah just outside of that i just think that the narrative was just such a really simple but really effective narrative just teaching this thing that's out of this world um you know the main aspects of our humanity and seeing uh this robot basically embody the best parts of humanity by the end of the film i i think was such a cool way to go about the film and uh to be not a big gun but superman is great <laughs> I, I i loved that it's so endearing i love their relationship and i yeah i just yeah it was a great film i can see why um perhaps initially it wasn't received greatly or like I, I can see why it didn't do as well in the box office initially um compared to other movies coming around out around the same time like disney films and stuff i feel like this feels more retro uh but i feel like it's more timeless if that makes sense i i loved it i'll probably watch it again soon it was great well i hope you guys enjoyed yourself i did please like and subscribe and i'll see you all next time stay cozy